So we're going to start by going up to the Admin menu and choosing the Configuration link. Under the area labeled Content Authoring, click on the link called Text Formats and Editors. And opposite Full HTML, you'll see a button labeled Configure. Give that a click. So there's nothing that shows up that's apparent that says anything about font, family, or size. So that means the module is not installed. We'll correct that by clicking on the Extend uh, link up in the Admin menu. As the module list shows up, scroll down to the uh, CK Editor section and put a checkbox next to CK Editor Font, Family, and Size by clicking in the little box there. And now scroll down to the bottom and click on the Install. When the module's installed, you'll see a message that actually says module CK Editor Font Family and Size has been enabled. Now that allows us to go up and once again click on Configuration under the Admin menu. And then once again in the Content Authoring area, click on Text Formats and Editors. Once again, next to Full HTML, go to the right and click on the Configure button. Now you'll actually see there's the font name and size uh, drop down buttons, and those need to be uh, put into their own area. So click on Show Group Names. Go over to the left and click on the Add Group button, and add the group button name Font Group. Then click on the Apply button. Now go up and where it says Font Name, drag that into the Font Group and do the same for the size uh, button. Now we're going to actually add a text color and background here so you'll see the little one when you drag over it it actually says text color. Drag that next to uh, size and then do the same for background color. And drag it just to the uh, right of the uh, text color. Now the font name default list and font size default list is automatically put in place and all that's left to do is actually scroll to the bottom and uh, click on Save Configuration. So to actually uh, see these in action, go up under the Admin menu and click on Content. Click on the Add Content button and we'll select content of type basic page. So give that a click. So we don't see actually any uh, size or font uh, buttons there, but under text format, you'll see a pop-up menu. Switch it from basic HTML to full HTML. And now you'll see both the font drop-down uh, menu and the size drop-down menu. We can now go in and actually work with this information. So. We're actually going to uh, name the uh, content here. We'll call it font test. And we'll start by putting in the phrase testing. OK, so we'll start first with uh, setting up a size. So we highlight the word testing, scroll down, and we'll choose 72. That's our largest uh, size. And we'll begin by choosing the uh, Times New Roman font. And now go to the bottom and click Save and Publish. So that essentially is the basics of installing uh, the font family and size uh, plugin. But if we want to add more uh, sizes or more fonts, we can just go back and uh, go down under Configuration to Content Authoring. Click on Text Formats and Editors. And then once again, click on the Configure button opposite Full HTML. Scroll down, and in the uh, font size uh, entry, on the right behind the very last entry where it says 72 picks, type in 144, followed by a slash, and then 144 and the letters PX, followed by a semicolon. It's the semicolon that actually completes the font size entry. So just go back down, click on Save Configuration. We'll go back into the Admin menu, click on Content, and then you'll see our page entered. Click on the Edit under Operations. And now highlight the word Testing. And uh, under the size, if you scroll down, you'll see 144. And when you select that, the content now goes to 144 pixels. Click on Save and keep publishing. 
and that's in place. So that's the new size, but if we want to uh, add some more fonts, you can go back into text formats and editors, go back and cl click on the configure button opposite full HTML, and now after the last uh, entry, uh, we'll set the cursor in there by clicking on it, and we're going to put in Adobe's Peño. So type in the word Peño followed by a slash, and then the actual font is Peño dash Demi. So type that in and end everything with a semicolon. Now if you scroll down and uh, click Save Configuration, we have just added the Peño font to our font list, and that's actually available for us to use. So we go back into Content, click on the Edit Operation, highlight the uh, text we entered, go to the Font menu, scroll to the bottom, and there's our Peñal entry, which is now active. And so click on Save and Keep Published. That's in place. And now if we click on the title Font Text, that actually links us to the page. And that's essentially it.